Yo, what is up boys and welcome back to yet another video. This one is going to be a first look talking about a brand new roleplay game called Raw and holy shit does it look really, really good. Shout out to Big Fry for letting me know about this game yesterday. If you did see his video on it, this video today is going to be actually not only showing you what he's shown and talked about yesterday, but a lot more because we did just release their Kickstarter today, which I will of course have a link to in the description below. Before we get into some more intricate details of the game, the TLDR the game is it's called Raw. It's called that because you start off on an empty island and from that you're supposed to obviously create civilization along with which other players. The player count per server is supposedly going to be 100 to 200 players. The map size is 400 square kilometers which is really big by the way in case you're wondering. I'll have a comparison to Altus which is a map from Armor 3. Many of you guys will know the size of pretty well. And the development team behind this killer will games are looking at a early access release of December 2019. Yes you heard me right 2019 is when we plan on releasing this game to their Kickstarter backers in an early access stage. Once it's been released if they plan on having early access lasting 6 to 12 months, at which point I guess they're somehow going to have a full game. I do have a lot of scepticism coming into this. Killer Will Games are a development studio which are small, which don't have a lot of money. Even if this Kickstarter does get funded, $100,000 is still not that much money. That is currently what their goal is on Kickstarter. And essentially their goals are to recreate life with illegal, legal crimes, government systems, you know, owning your own gas station, building your own roads, as you see in the background right now. Pretty much everything you can think of uh, revolving around the, the actions of life, I guess. That's what they plan on having in this game. If you want to see a bit more about what they've talked about, there is so much information on the Kickstarter page, which is a good sign, I guess. Then again, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I'd highly recommend checking out their Kickstarter video. A fair comparison a lot of people are probably going to make with Raw is Identity. That game was a Kickstarter game, which was first released on Kickstarter January 2015. And with the game being actually finally released in late 2018, almost four years after their original Kickstarter, they've released a pretty mediocre in fact, I think it's kind of kind. Uh, town Square module where you can do very, very little. No one plays it really. It's very buggy. And you actually haven't released a game update on Steam in almost three months now. From what I can see, the game's been abandoned. I'm sure there will be more updates. It just is a bit weird that we haven't made an update in three months. But this game, the reason why there's some promise, I think, and you're not going to come in as skeptical, but don't get me wrong, uh, don't go head first into this Kickstarter thinking they're going to deliver everything because that's going to be really, really, really hard even with millions and millions of dollars is simply because of what they're showing in the video. They have clearly a lot of prepared assets. Yes, it's not a gameplay video, it's just a trailer, but there's a lot of variation in weaponry, in clothing, the world looks pretty good. There's a lot of different buildings, there's just a lot of content as a whole, which is a good sign. It's not like they've just made a few buildings, made a Kickstarter and been like, Hey guys, we're gonna re reproduce life. Come buy our game, it's gonna be fucking amazing. They do have some very, very impressive assets at this stage to show. And according to them, they have been in development of this game for two years so far. So that's pretty impressive. Again, making the good old comparison to Identity, literally just go back and watch Identity's Kickstarter. I'll have a link to that in the description below as well, or even watch some newer Identity videos. Yes, it did look pretty good at the time, but it doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as what they are showing in this video. You. Clearly these guys just have a little more game development experience to say the least. These guys, much like the identity devs, are inspired by Armor Life, which is obviously what you guys know and love if you do watch this YouTube channel. Although they do mention that a few of their other games which they are inspired by are Rust and GTA. A lot of people will use the logic of saying, how the hell is this small development studio going to make this massive open world a more enjoyable roleplay experience than something like GTA? And that is a fair comparison. GTA obviously does have a really nice world, a bunch of really nice weapons, a bunch of really nice vehicles. But I'd say, honestly, the main thing which holds it back is player count, the VoIP, which sounds like pretty bad, and the overall gameplay experience. I'd say it's very, very vanilla gameplay. Really, if you're looking to get something truly amazing in terms of roleplay, you will have to make your own roleplay game so you can start, you know, 
digging little holes out of tunnels, making shanks, owning your own businesses and stuff like that. And that's exactly what killer whale are trying to do. Their goal is pretty small on the grand scheme of things. So like I mentioned earlier in a text annotation, this is just way too much effort to put into a game, a trailer, etc. and all this market and stuff just to scam people for let's say a measly $100,000. But I'd love to hear as always what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Is it just going to be a big old scam or is it finally going to be a roleplay game which delivers its promise? Personally, I'm going to go ahead and back it for $100 right now. But again, I can't recommend you guys just throw your money off the screen just yet. They are planning on releasing a gameplay video soon as well, which is going to definitely make a lot of people more confident in backing this game. From what that Kickstarter page, it just says it's coming soon, so I'm assuming it will be added before the end of that Kickstarter campaign as we try to generate more hype for their project. So if you're just not really so sure if you want to back it yet, wait a bit longer and see what other information they can release regarding the game, and maybe that will make you throw your money off your screen eventually. This game did really, really come out of nowhere. Just yesterday, Big Fry and actually a friend of mine, you guys might know, Caden Pierce, received an email from these guys, which I'll put on the screen right now. It is a bit weird that uh, they got an email and I didn't, and I'm also specifically speaking about Caden. I don't know if he didn't email me because he thought I was gonna like shit on the game or something, but really there's not too much negative things to say about the game right now. Like ultimately, I think overall it's positive, really positive. Like I said, just be skeptical. Don't believe everything you see on the internet because there was, in case you're wondering with identity, $1.4 million raised, I believe, between January 2015 and now. And that money has slowed down a lot. So it's been like that for, I guess, about a year or so now. And look at what they've done with that game. Game development is very, very expensive. Do not get mistaken. Hiring even, let's say, two competent game programmers is gonna obviously set you back somewhere just pulling a number out of my ass right now, but fifty to $60,000 a year, and all of a sudden, if you're looking at, let's say, a three-year development cycle of those two fellas, you're looking at $360,000 just for three years with two programmers, which, believe it or not, there is money which needs to go elsewhere other than programming, you know? You might see some assets on your screen which look nice. That's, that's an artist. Someone needs to make those. And they also need money to survive on this planet. Pretty much everything you can imagine you could do in real life, these guys are advertising you can do in this game. I'm not sure if they're going to release it in some kind of module system, much like Identity, because releasing all of this in one go seems impossible pretty much but obviously things like real estate you are going to be able to buy land and then create your own house apparently or so they say pay taxes on the ownership or for the ownership of the land be able to go ahead and put furniture where you want obviously buy cars government system uh, there is actually as you would assume in the trailer uh, air vehicles and also boats but those are actually stretch goals for their campaign because apparently they need more money for that Set up your own business, uh, obviously you've got the illegal stuff as well if you are looking to do that. There's a bunch of different jobs that you can conduct to make the world go around. And with all that said, like literally just go read the Kickstarter page really thoroughly. I think it's going to be really interesting to compare what they said then to the final product. Or not the final product, but the product they do release in just a few months. And I'm sure between now and then they will go ahead and share some videos as well. But again, the only reason I have any faith, although I am still skeptical, is just because of how impressive the video they made is. Just so you guys do know as well, but the Kickstarter is undoubtedly pay to win. A lot of these are kind of pay to win and people don't really see them as a bad thing. They are ultimately a way to really see these campaigns through without some kind of pay to win element. It would be hard for a lot of these campaigns to generate enough money to make the dreams that they want. Things like Star Citizen, you know, you're gonna pay hundreds, oh, not hundreds of thousands, but thousands of dollars for a much bigger ship than a guy who's just shelling out a few hundred dollars. Identity, you're gonna go ahead and give some money and you are going to get, you know, a bigger apartment than other players as well. How does this Kickstarter deal with that, you may wonder? Well, you can get things like weapons, you can get a pistol, an assault rifle, a backpack, if you do give them enough money, an increased trunk capacity of a pickup truck, a semi-truck trailer with increased capacity, uh, an in-game statue. So honestly, on the grand scheme of things, these aren't the most paid away ever. They are momentary advantages, but I'm sure if someone does decide they don't like you, they can go ahead and take your stuff off you, I'm guessing. Um, but ultimately, these really aren't that bad on the grand scheme of things. It is a bit curious, though, on the 1,500 euro uh, goal they do have it includes a unique backer light aircraft which doesn't really make any sense considering one of their stretch goals which speaking of we'll go ahead and show on the screen right now uh, the 
second of which, which is planes, of, planes and helicopters, it says we already have working controllers for helicopters and airplanes. Everything looks very good, but still need additional improvements as well as performance and quality checks. So I'm not really sure how exactly they're going to give this guy um, that plane if they aren't necessarily even going to be adding planes to be flyable by players unless you give them $120,000. But I guess that's honestly one of the smallest things I can show as a flaw of this Kickstarter campaign. Other than that, I've got nothing else to say. Doesn't make any sense. The rest of it makes a lot of sense. It's just going to be really hard. I do kind of wish they focused a bit more on a more simple game, to be honest. It's an issue that even Identity, again mentioning that game, um, has fallen into where they constantly promise the most revolutionary things ever, such as, you know, the most realistic driving ever, they've said, the most realistic gun ballistics they've said that they got, like, from the Navy SEALs or some shit. They literally said this. And instead of, you know, just focusing on something which just works, they want to push it to the limits. And that's very, very risky because you are now dedicating to something much, much bigger. If instead there was, at least for the early access release, a bit more of a realistic goal with you know x y and z jobs x v and y and z things to do then i think i'd have a lot more confidence in this project but simply because it is trying to be the master of everything with you know building roads and houses and uh, having jobs and companies and all of this kind of shit. I don't know, are we expecting people to just sit inside these houses all day? Or not these houses, these corner shops all day and just role playing being a 7-Eleven employee? I don't really know. It just seems like a bit too much. And again, this might be why the developers didn't send me an email, but I wish them all the best. And like I said, you've got my $100, so... And I'm sure a few people from this video will go ahead and back it, right? Uh, so... I'm, I'm really fucking curious, but I'm, I'm I'm excited. This game right now and Dead Matter with the uh, recently released uh, updated dev blog kind of thing we released yesterday. Those two games are both of both of the early access games I'm looking at right now. Dead Matter being the survival genre, maybe uh, new competitor kind of thing, and this game being the, the role play genre only real competition if you look at all of other competition in the role play genre there's no triple a development studio trying to do it um all of the mods you know i'm a free life mod eh, not really role play but it's okay gta uh, it's good, but it has its own flaws. I mentioned earlier I could go deeper, but I'm not going to. We'll save that for another video, aka never. And uh, even, you know, small indie development studios with identity and I can't think of any other games, but it was like three or four other games which just aren't really probably ever going to go anywhere. This is really the only hope, it seems like, at least right now. I think eventually there's a decent chance that a AAA developer might really put their money. Uh, into the roleplay game genre because look at the industry of the roleplay genre Maybe this would be different if it was on Roll and not GTA But there's a lot of people that love GTA that play that all day every day that watch it all day every day on Twitch It's a massive massive market with undoubtedly millions and millions of dollars of money just waiting there to be taken if you just make a good roleplay game. And like I said, it doesn't need to do everything, it just needs to be better than the competition. They don't need a 400 square kilometer map with 100 to 200 players and all of these other gameplay mechanics if they were focusing on something a bit more simple and maybe saying that, um, you know, they could do more in the future, that would be fair enough to say. If they have said that the multiplayer is proven, in fact, I'll go ahead and get a direct quote of what they said right here. It's not actually mentioned on their Kickstarter, but it is mentioned on their website. It says, Tested Multiplayer. Reliable multiplayer solution that has been tested for several years. They don't say exactly what their choice is even for something as simple as Engine, and I don't really know what exactly you're doing with multiplayer, whether they are going to be splitting up into several servers or something like that, maybe using a spatial OS as technology or something, which essentially does that. Um, but, yeah, they said it's proven, so... I guess just have faith in the developers and you'll be good to go. If we are going to look a bit more on the development studio side of things, really, there is nothing in there which is saying anything too impressive, which is good and bad. They simply say we have a very small team and to make the final steps to release, we need to hire more employees, which makes perfect sense. But they don't talk about any kind of experience or anything like that. Surely it seems like the developers of this game have some level of experience and some money behind them even right now because what they've released so far is... Very, very impressive, like I've said, but they don't delve too much into that, which is a bit interesting to say the least. I did also notice their Twitter is killerwheel underscore TW, which even means that they are Taiwan based or they are simply using the TW 
um, letters right there because it's a Twitter account. So, you know, it could simply just be that instead. I don't really know. But Kickstarter does say that they are from Germany. So, yeah, we love Germany. Anyway, I could sit here and talk all day about this game, but I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully this video has provided a decent amount of detail to you guys. Uh, if you are looking for more, then go check out their Kickstarter. Again, I've asked you to do that like 10 times, so maybe some of you guys will click on it in the description below. And again, let me know what you think about the game. I am really, really curious. I did try to bring my own opinion here, obviously, bring in the skepticism and the realistic outlook on this game, because I think a lot of people going in, into these... Uh, don't have as much experience with Kickstarters and disappointments. I have done this for eight years now. I've had my YouTube channel since 2011, August, and I've been disappointed so many times by people claiming they are going to do X, Y, and Z, and instead we just do, or they just delay, or whatever else happens. It's been a lot of disappointments, so just don't take it at face value. Look into it a bit more. Uh, be hesitant giving them your money, but if you do want to maybe see a, a roleplay game which doesn't suck finally come out, hey, maybe it's worth just jumping straight in and saying, fuck it, if my money disappears, it disappears. Much like I did with Identity, rip for $100 will be lost. I don't really see that game going anywhere, but hey, maybe for been working really hard and there's going to be a really big update soon. I just wish that $1.4 million could just be like, moved to roll and people are like yep we give up our game sucks because it does sorry i don't see devs but 1.4 million dollars and they have like two developers you can do more with that okay put some more money into the development of that game because it's it's shit right now I, it just seems like they're scamming and just putting money in their banks to be honest but yeah that's just me who cares no this is it's not bad identity. anyway thanks for watching as always if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like if you don't or didn't drop a dislike and uh, i will make sure to keep you guys up to date with raw if there is any new gameplay the gameplay trailer whenever that comes out i will make a new video um and i hope they have a successful kickstart campaign so far right now they are sitting at 300 pounds out of their 62,000 pounds goal so yeah not looking too good yet Thank you.